Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, I hope you're having a wonderful May. It is 94 degrees outside today. I went to Jazzercise this morning and was pouring sweat after the first song. TMI, it was great. Sweat is your friend. I'm so excited to show you all this recipe today. It's cold steak salad. I know that sounds a little odd, but it's from a cookbook my sweet sister Hattie gave me called 30 Years at the Mansion. And this cookbook, I thought I had lost and I was so sad. Hattie gave it to me years ago and it's written by the executive chef of the Arkansas Governor's Mansion, Liza Ashley. Liza Ashley was the executive chef of the Arkansas Governor's Mansion from 1956 to 1990. I bet she has stories. Anyway, this book has some of her recipes, 150 of her favorites from all those years she served at the mansion. She passed away in November of 2020, but wow, I would have loved to have known her. But the recipe for cold steak salad is out of here and it's so yummy. I used to make it when the girls were little. Let me show you what you'll need. Steak, butter, mushrooms, artichoke hearts, celery, tomatoes, chives, parsley, Dijon mustard, and Italian dressing. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about this cold steak salad. It's perfect for summer because it's cold and it's steak, so it's hearty. We're still planting, but this weekend we got to see my precious son in love, Blake, get hooded at the hooding ceremony at UNMC in Omaha. And one of the most special things about it was that his father, who is a doctor, Dr. Brian Haas, he got to put the hood on Blake. And then the next day we got to attend his graduation. So it was a big weekend of celebration. Celebrating. But I've eaten out a lot, so I'm ready to cook at home. I mean, I love to eat out, but I also love home-cooked meals. The first thing we're going to do for the salad is get two pounds of boneless steak. And I have gotten the steak, I've chopped the steak into little cubes, and I've sauteed it in butter, and I'm going to show you right now. After the steak is brown on all four sides, put it aside to cool. Then get a package of mushrooms sliced and put them in that butter with the tannins of the steak in there and saute your mushrooms. Here's a video of that. And then set those aside. So we're gonna get our Hudson and Henning bowl to mix all this together. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my cooled sauteed and butter steak. I actually cut the fat off the steak and I fried it up for Rick and he loved it. <laughs> then our mushrooms that we sauteed in that butter and the tannins of the steak. Yum. It already smells great. Liza's recipe calls for cooking artichoke hearts and cooling them and all that. I just use a can of artichoke hearts. Already cooked, already done. Drained. I'm going to move this out of the way because we're going to dice a cup of celery. Y'all know how much I love to chop celery. There's just something so satisfying about it. The sound, the smell, I love celery. There were a lot of graduations this weekend and there are a lot of graduations coming up. Tis the season. In they go. I love my Hudson and Henning bowl, but I think I'm gonna have to go for a bigger bowl. And then add a little package of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Just make sure they're small. It makes it so pretty. Then the recipe calls for two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. Isn't that beautiful parsley? I love this. I always had dreams of having an herb garden in my kitchen. I tried a few times and did not succeed very well, but I may try again. I just got these at our store. But how fun is it to chop herbs? Love that. Oh. <laughs> again, something about the sound and the smell. It smells so good. My precious daughter Lillian has an herb garden in her kitchen. Of course, she has the greenest thumb. She's my artist. <laughs> and she's a nurse. Come to think of it, my friend Anne is an artist and a nurse. There must be some correlation. <laughs> How pretty. That's supposed to be two tablespoons. I did about half a cup. Then two tablespoons of chopped chives. And I got these little fresh chives at the store. They're so cute. <laughs> Woo, they are strong. <laughs> Chopping chives. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. This is so much fun. So fragrant. And go the 
chives. Then you put two teaspoons of your Dijon mustard. Two teaspoons, I'm sure. <laughs> then you just mix lightly. Smell is such an intense trigger of memory. <laughs> Reminds me of making this years ago. All right, now you can either add two cups of Italian dressing that you just purchased at the store, or Liza Ashley has her Italian dressing recipe, which we're gonna make now. But first we're gonna dance. <laughs> Now it's time to make our Italian dressing and we're gonna start off with two and a fourth cups of oil. Cute little cup from Hadou. This is also a cup from Hadou, look how cute. Um, then three fourths cup of white wine vinegar. I cook with white wine vinegar. I do not drink. <laughs> I'm not judging y'all. I'm not judging anybody because the Bible says don't get drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. But um, I, I don't drink. Um, I'm too high control and I need all my faculties. <laughs> White wine vinegar. And now we get to chop herbs again. I'm so excited. This will be one third cup chopped parsley. I'm starting to lose my voice. I think it's because we had such a big weekend of graduations and Mother's Day. And I've talked a lot. <laughs> my voice should be used to this by now. I'm so thankful for my sweet mother. She is godly and amazing. And I always think of her and try to be like her. I also adore my precious mother in love, Pam. <laughs> she raised those three boys. <laughs> She's a strong woman, amazing, godly woman, too. <laughs> love her. I'm so blessed by my sweet mama and my sweet mother in love. In goes the parsley. That smells so good. I'm going to keep my little cutting mat out because I need to chop dillweed. We grow dillweed, but our dillweed is this giant mass of not usable herbs. I need to figure out how to use my dillweed that's out there in our garden. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, <laughs> that's a real phone call, folks. <laughs> Can't believe it. In goes the dillweed. This recipe calls for one third cup chopped onion, but I'm just gonna add some onion powder. I know it's ironic that I'm adding fresh dill and onion powder. Oh well. <laughs> little salt. Little pepper. Never gets old. <laughs> then a dash of Tabasco sauce. Fun. You can shake this in a jar. I didn't have a jar handy, so I'm just whisking. Now we're ready to pour the Italian dressing over the steak salad. Get all the good stuff. Yum. Just toss that a little bit. Y'all, that's so beautiful. And it smells so good. So now you just put it in the fridge overnight. And I'm not gonna wait until tomorrow to taste it for y'all because it's still gonna be yummy, but it gets even better overnight. Thanks so much y'all for cooking with me today and making cold steak salad. I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time. Blake Edward Haas. <laughs>